sometimes I do like a good cake, depending on what kind of cake it is. Yeah. Um, obviously Sean's cake. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Sha. Sean is in the store right now. We're actually at this place called Crumble, trying it for the first time. Crumble cookies, and um. We just decided to cut the camera on and show our beautiful faces. And they change their cookies every week, so this is the place. <laughs> Crumble. Crumble cookie. So I'm waiting for Sean to come out of the store, and I'll be back shortly when he gets back with the cookies. That fast. Yeah. Say like, hi to the camera. Fast. What's up, guys? Well, not we to the camera, but to what's everyone up, watching. What's up, what's up, SNS family? What's up? I already introduced and told them where we're at. Oh my gosh, look at the cookies. I guess you could turn them this way and show them. Hopefully, you guys can see. The, oh, you added another one. Oh, they smell so good, baby. Oh, they could see. We'll show y'all. Uh, I'll turn it up a little bit more. My bad. Yeah. They smell like. Oh, let me get a picture. Of this is. You can hold it, baby. All right, y'all. So we about to give an honest review, and Sean and I are going to maybe have a little conversation while we're eating, right, baby? Yes, sir. Uh, some napkins here. Okay. They were under you. She said the Oreo was really good. I don't know how. The Oreo one is good? Yeah. Birthday. So, so we y'all know what we have. We no, have I didn't tell them. The, you could say, tell them the We flavors. have blueberry muffin, snickerdoodle, uh, Oreo birthday cake, and chocolate, ch milk chocolate chip. Is the camera on you enough, or you feel like you got to keep moving your head because I want to adjust it perfectly? Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to try the snickerdoodle first. I'm going to try... They are so soft. Mm, I guess I'll try that for you too. I'm going to my our honest reaction. I don't like eating in the car, but we're going to eat for I this. guess this, you want to... Um, I don't know this. I'm going to say this side. Or we could just do a regular thumbnail where we just posing for a picture. Oh, mm -hmm. you I think I like the cake. Okay. Oh. I'll go with what you saying. <laughs> What does Snickerdoodle supposed to taste like? Mm -hmm. Can't describe it. I'm thinking of a Snicker. It like... <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. I thought no. Snickerdoodle was Snicker. Mm -mm. Mm. It's sweet. That's good. Um. Try the blueberry muffin. I'm gonna try the blueberry muffin next. I'm gonna try it. Um, Snickerdoodle was actually good. I used to make cookies in high school in my culinary arts class, so that was one of the cookies that I used to make. Bruh. It really tastes like a blueberry muffin. Like, Oh my god. I'm so sad that to the um, we came on this day because today is the last day for this flavor. So basically I was trying to explain to them that what they the each week they have a different lineup of cookies. And Saturday is basically the last day to experience it for they start from Monday they re they start a new line of cookies every Monday and then it's from Monday to Saturday because they're closed on Sundays. Well, I don't know if that's everywhere, but um, here if they're closed on Sundays, so this is the last day we could even experience these flavors because starting Monday it'll be a whole nother lineup. And I wish we had some water. Yes, because my throat is very. Mm. I was probably gonna bring a water. Come. I'm nervous to try that Oreo one because I'm just not a. Mm. Not an Oreo fan like that. I probably try a little piece. 
You didn't even get the icing. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Y'all, let's see what it's giving. That was okay. I don't know if I would get crumble again. Maybe I don't like, maybe it's the flavor. I don't think I'm really a cookie person. And that's probably what it is. I guess we're supposed to be giving y'all like a clear description of <laughs> it tastes like mm. This is not nasty, but it's also not something I would get at that. Yeah, the blueberry muffin one did taste like blueberry. The snickerdoodle, I don't know why the snickerdoodle is supposed to taste like snicker, but no. it was mm -hmm. good. Um, this Oreo one. I would be able to eat more once we get home with some water because this is yeah. thick. Really good. Better, but we also got chocolate. So we have blueberry muffin, snickerdoodle. What was that one? The called? Oreo one. Birthday cake. Oreo. Bir birthday Oreo cake. Real chocolatey. And then, yeah, that's what it it's is. Real, real chocolate. chocolate. Like, it, the chocolate is very rich. And then we have regular milk chocolate. And I know that's probably going to be good. It looks good because that's one of my favorite cookies. Outside of oatmeal raisin. Mm -hmm. My stomach got me in. <laughs> What? Mm. You know, stuff like this. What? We have sensitive stomachs. Mm. Yeah, I can't even eat the rest of this right now. They, and the cookies are huge. Yeah. They're really soft. That. Hold on, wait a minute. Mm. My favorite is between Snickerdoodle and Blueberry Muffin. Mm. I don't think I have a favorite, but I will probably sway more toward. You're not really or... even a sweets person like that. Yeah. I'm not either, but I do like, sometimes I do like a good cake, depending on what kind of cake it is. Yeah. Um, Obviously, Sean's cake. <laughs> and uh. And uh. Ooh. Um, no, but this is really good. What flavor is that? Blueberry muffin. No, the cake. My cake. Mm. They don't need to know all that. Uh, um, it's but delicious. Oh, it's, what they say? Delicious. Yum, 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 yum. Delicious. Dora, Dora the Explorer. Delicious. But, I think I'm saying it right. Mm -hmm. I would love if they had oatmeal raisin. That's like the only cookie that I really, really like. Yeah. But I'm really not a cookie person. I'm not a cake person either. Um, but I do like Carvel, that cake, like the the crumbles at the bottom, the little crunchy things. But yes. I'm really not a like shy shit. I'm really not a sweet person, yeah. other than candy. You know? yeah. I'm not definitely cookie. You and I hear me say, "Oh, I want to get, Let's I want to get some, some cookies. Oreo cookies or something like that." Elk. Yeah. So that was a quick, honest review. Again, this is from Crumble. Oh, that could have been a thumbnail. We could have held up the box. Oh, I don't even want me to send them back to you. Mm -hmm. All right, so that was our crumble review. We've been talking about coming here for a minute. And we, babe, was just like, let's just cut the camera on. Let mm -hmm. us know if you guys have any crumble in your area, and if you're gonna go try it after watching this video, or if you had it before, let us know. Like, what flavors did you have, and what was your experience like at crumble? But now, uh, good. I was gonna say now that we're finished with that, you were going to ask you a question, and then I'll ask you one. But I'm still thinking. So. <laughs> Um, prior to this video starting, right, Should I'm going to be transparent. Yeah, because prior to this video starting, we actually had a little, dip, not argument, but it got, it could have went into a whole argument. And basically what I got from it after like thinking about it and reassessing it is that there was a lot of assumption going on. Um, we left our house, was driving, shy driving. And he asked me to put the GPS on. I put the GPS on, but I set the GPS thing in the, like the phone in the cup. So I'm expecting, like, I'm telling him, like, turn here, turn here, turn there. But we never said, or he never said, like, babe, I want you to tell me. I just started doing it. And we got to a part where I didn't, wasn't looking. And Shy, I told Shy, you got to turn here. And he responded, and I got triggered. And we, like, basically went back and forth for a short moment. But as we talked about it, because it seemed like we was about to, like, 
I'm um, like, shit, I don't even think we about to do this video because now we like, you know, after you just have like a conversation and y'all talking, y'all be like, okay, it just get awkward. Like we just was driving in silence. Um, and then when we just parked, what Shy said made a good point is that I think we assume so many things, like we just be assuming people to do stuff that it could create something if they don't do what you expect them to do. So I, my question to you is going forward, how do you think to avoid that situation from occurring we should uh, be when it comes to like ex, uh, assuming our expectations? Well, I'll be honest with you. I didn't expect you to ask that question. Um, it kind of threw me off guard, but I guess that's what we said it was going to be. Um, I feel like I answered that before we cut the camera on. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't feel like there's a way to avoid it all the time. I just feel like we are human and we're going to have misunderstandings and that's okay. But um, I don't know. I feel like I don't really have an answer for that because I feel like it literally just yeah. happened. But it is a learning experience, and um, I feel like that's all I have to give right now. Okay. Mine, I think it's just, like you said, communication. It's really just, like, I just was, my whole thing was, like, things could go left so fast. Like, you could be having a good time, and so I'm just, like, ugh, it just messes up the whole mood. But we continued to push through, and we communicated. So that was my little quick question that I, it just is on the top of my head because it just happened, like you said. Okay. What about you? Um, what are you most afraid of? Hmm. And life. Yeah. It don't matter. I mean, what else would it be? Uh, I'm <laughs> outside most outside of life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking like like in a relationship, like just in general, basically. Just, oh, in general, yeah. Um, Not no specific. Uh, I think I'm most afraid of failing. Like, I have a lot of goals, expectations that I've set for myself, and I'm afraid of failing, but. That is not the mindset that I should have because I should be okay with failing because you fell forward. Um, so I would say aside of that, it's just like dying. Like I'm afraid of, I just, you know, we don't know our date. And I feel like nowadays people like even younger than me just be passing away. And I'll just be like, wow, like, you know, I always thought the expectation was, no, you're not going to die until you're like 70, 80. But it's like nowadays, it's just like people just fly, like just dying left and right. So it just calls a like awareness to me, like, in an, and it could be tragic death too. You know, it could be in a car, it could be anything that just happens. So I think I'm afraid of that. Um, and I think I'm just afraid of the aftermath of life. Like, where do I go? Like... Mm -hmm. Is it going to be the same type of, like, this? Like, do we meet other people up there? Do we really still have life? Like, I know when I be having dreams sometimes, I'll be like, you know, damn, this, like, that was a good dream. Like, can I get wait, go back to sleep? Like, why did I wake up? Like, why did I stop my dream? So I think that's what I'm afraid of. Um, I was going to say I'm afraid of losing you, but I'm not. Because I just feel like we just be good. Like, I think as long as we communicate and... Just say how we feel. That's the only way we'll continue to grow yeah. and not hold and hide or talk to other people without even making sure your partner acknowledges what's bothering you. Okay. You want me to ask you what you're afraid of, or yeah, that was good? Cause... No, I feel like that was good. <laughs> okay. Personally, for me. Okay. All right. Well. The hell. Oh, I guess he's trying to back up, but that concludes the end of the. That's, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, that concludes the end of this video. We hope you guys um, liked it. Um, our little crumble uh, try and our little one question conversation. I know we haven't really had really conversation lately. We've really been doing a lot of vlogging. So, what do you guys like? Are you guys do you guys love the vlogs? Do you guys love the little? 
intimate conversations or just how we view things, let us know. I think we like y'all like both, but I still want to know from you what you think. If you are new to our channel, mm -hmm. welcome. Welcome to the SNS yes. show. We are glad to have you guys as a part of our family. Um, and babe, I'll let you finish. That's it. Because it's SNS. It's SNS. It's SNS. It's, it's SNS. S it's it's SNS. SNS. Bye, guys. And Lodge, this is for you because it, it, I can't really do it in the car, but it was so funny when you <laughs> did that. But thank you guys for watching. And until next time, peace, peace out.